officially welcome you, my dad officially welcome you to the to our inaugural uh, early childhood conference here at DC, being sponsored by the Office of State Superintendent for Education. So let's give a big round of applause in advance for this conference. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Rayshawn Crossan Settles, and I have the pleasure of serving as the interim assistant superintendent for early childhood. This is such a joyous day for me. About a year ago, I said, we had a parent conference at the convention center. I said, you know what? We need to do something like this for early childhood. Not just for parents, but for the workforce. And so my dream has come to fruition. So let's give ourselves a round of applause. What we're going to do, just to get everybody's blood moving and your energy up for this day, this is going to be a great infant toddler conference, is we'd like everybody to stand up. If you start off in a high quality infant program and you go to a high quality preschool program, you're going to do much better when you go to school than if you hadn't been in those high quality programs throughout your early years. It is important to understand that there are some unique challenges that confront children that are living in challenged social economic circumstances. We have to make sure that our curriculum affords an opportunity to really focus on following the lead of children, even as we are being thoughtful about how speech and language and literacy in those areas um, unfold. A cry means I need attention. And some people say, oh, let them cry. You know, eventually they learn not to cry. Then they learn not to care about you or trust you, you being any adult. And then when they're 3 or 13, you expect them to listen to you? Uh-uh, you taught them. Really? <laughs> You've got to be kidding. When I do this, I control the world? <laughs> Isn't that true? When children don't get that kind of responsive environment, they do, in fact, fall off the learning curve that's expected in this culture or any other culture. The bottom line is every single interaction that, that our babies and our infants have uh, with each other, with adults, with the environment is key to their development and, and we really just can't wait. We need to start as soon as possible. We're really concerned that we've got to start children off on the right foot right from the beginning, which means we've got to have healthy pregnancies. We need early childhood programs that are strong starting in infancy that helps build the architecture of the brain and leads later on to uh, success in school and healthy lifestyles. The early years are important because they really establish the foundation for later health and development. Everything children come to know and understand about themselves and their ability to interact in the world is heavily influenced by the experiences they have with adults in their lives as very young children. In order for children to be successful down the line, we want to make sure we're doing everything we can to establish a sturdy foundation. I think this is just so important in the history of the District of Columbia to say our students, really our students from the day they're born, and the school cares about you all the way from the day you're born. In the District of Columbia, should be the place foremost in the country where a great education right from birth is being demonstrated. Sometimes what happens is once babies get up and moving, the people who've been sitting and holding them and sitting with them and giving them bottles are like, Oh, you! And they get up and they go. But when that baby who's just tentatively crawling out turns back, and you're not there, um, they become more. You know, those are the babies who are sort of crawling along behind you because they sort of still need to know that they can get get you. At least at certain parts of the day, you can just sit and be available. You build a relationship when you are at work. You know, if you want to be out for two days, it is important for you to go to that infant and say. I'm not going to see you tomorrow. I mean, you might say, well, they, I mean, they don't care. They don't know. Yes, they do. They do. Yes, they do. There they go. Back to their nest. Come on, honey, Come on, young Come on, young man. 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 Come
me. Now when to stop almost without you saying it, you can reiterate, oh, when the drum stops, we stop. And then stop and look. I think I see a bear. Then we patch out the bear. And we get very physical and we make noise. And then the bear goes into her cave. Bye-bye, bear. Come and follow me. Here we go. Justice for many years, and we were doing this fatherhood program for guys in prison. We would tell them, Look, we're helping you so that you can be there for your kids. The reason that resonated for these guys is because when you ask them how different would your life have been if you had had a responsible parent in your life, you know, protection against bullies, how different would your life have been? Every single one of those guys in the room, man, one guy who started crying. So people understand the importance of parenting, and it's about protecting children and raising children into, into healthy lifestyles. My name is Tiffany Walker, and I work for Last Learn and Love, CDH. Um, I'm a teacher there, and this is Emmanuel. He's actually one of the students who attends Last Learn and Love. As some of the music that I learned today in the story and music class, I will take back and incorporate it with the children at the center. Absolutely, Ossie, thank you so much for remembering that infants and toddlers need engaging and supportive and interactive care and education, that infant and toddler teachers also need a very supportive and engaging environment such as this one today to help them do the best jobs they can do. Uh, my name is David Conti and I work for the Supreme Learning Center. Man, what I learned so far is like Instead of trying to force things on children, we should help them move forward with their emotions more so than a physical thing. Like you should have more a, con a connection with them. The main thing that I was reminded of today is that the interactions with the children is what I thought it should be. And just fun, loving, close interactions and just giving the children the words that they need. They don't always have the words and being patient with them and always observing to know what it is they might be trying to say. Hi, my name is Gwendolyn Evans Orange and I am a visiting instructor. I work in the homes and in the hospitals. And this conference is wonderful. I learned so much about new um, materials and opportunities for children that are not yet school age that this conference is exposing teachers to. Hi, my name is Diana Muñiz. For us, for teachers and home visitors, it's, it's a very uh, great opportunity so we can learn a lot and we can um, experience different things and also we can collaborate, uh, work in collaboration with others. I'm learning more that they're trying to put more money into the budget as far as for literacy, for the younger children, uh, from infancy to the kindergarten, because it actually starts at infancy. It's true that emotionally, we are the start of all education. The presenters are just out of this world fantastic. My name is Calvin Rice and I am the Regional Manager with Lakeshore Learning Materials. We are happy to be here to be supporting Aussie and their infant toddler program and educating providers across the city.
My name is Sherry Lacey. I'm from Zero to Three. We're the National Center for Infants, Toddlers, and Families. We provide resources that help promote the healthy development of babies and toddlers. Thank you for recognizing that early experiences matter. This is Imagination Stage. We're a children's theater in Bethesda, Maryland. For early childhood programs, we offer a theater for the very young. Thank you, Asi, for letting Imagination Stage come to your conference and let people know what we can do and what we offer. Oh, wonderful opportunity here at the conference to meet other professionals who are interested in our mission to advance this profession. Uh, networking with other agencies in the district. I am the program coordinator for the child care licensing program at Mary Center and I'm here today at the conference representing the different CDA uh, training providers in, here in DC. We have a really strong commitment and focus on ensuring high quality program for um, for infants and toddlers and so it's a great way to be able to meet some of the different people that are providing the services in the community and to be able to see how we can work to strengthen uh, existing partnerships and to form new ones to be able to to meet our programmatic goals. It feels great to be part of a conference because I'm all about books for children. I really want to encourage these wonderful people that are here as caregivers to read early and often to children because there's nothing better than preparing them for the future than to read to them early and often. I'm truly excited about the turnout. It has far exceeded my expectations. What we learn had um, individuals have taken away in a rich experience where they have actually something tangible to take back to the centers to apply in their classrooms. Quality starts with the teacher, right? It starts with their level of comfort, their level of knowledge. We've selected some foundational topics that will really get them started so next year we can build on that and keep building every year. They asked me to do the close out session and today I will talk about the importance of providing uh, every young child on the pathway to success with um, certain things that we know lead to effectiveness, which is quality relationships, quality child care, a touch, play, communications, reading, music, self-esteem. So I'll be talking about the 10 elements that uh, every child needs to be successful. We've had a long day. Yeah. And it's been a great day, has it yeah. not? Yeah. And we're not having a great word, not for the leadership of Ray Dawn. conference. I want you to know, be prepared, stay tuned for next year's conference. It will be bigger, better, and I hope to see each and every one of you there. Thanks for coming. Thank you so much for letting me be a part of this first conference of its kind here in D.C. I think that's thrilling. It was just magnificently done. Thank you very much. I really, really want to thank Aussie for making the table available for us during this conference because this is a nice, rare opportunity to get out amongst all the great talent that's out there. I would like this conference coming as soon as possible for Aussie because that one is very, very interesting. Thank you very much. Definitely. Thank you so much to Aussie. It was a great day. Thank you.